Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Rich. And it's your boy, Ron Mons. I hit you with a head nod. <laughs> what it do? I love it. I love it. So today we're going to be discussing the full armor of God. Um, in life, you know, we face so many different battles um, as Christians. Um, and I, for one, don't like battles. I'm the one that try to either run away from trials and tribulations or try to hide from them. But, you know, suffering is a part of life. You know, suffering is a part, especially the Christian life. And Paul is a great example of this in the Bible, the Apostle Paul. And if we look at Ephesians and we set the tone, we want to kind of set the tone for you of this chapter, Ephesians chapter six, which talks about the form of God. And, um, it's the Apostle Paul. He's in a Roman prison. Mm -hmm. He's chained between two guards, um, one, one on one side, one on the other side, and he's in chains. But yet he's right into this church at Ephesus, and it's the location of Ephesus, and this church there. And he's um, telling them that what they need to do is put on the full armor of God. So it's really like a great analogy that God um, gave Paul because he probably was standing at these soldiers all day. You know, they're right next to him. They probably still walking around. And he was like, whoa, you know, so they have on all this armor and all this protection. So us as Christians, me as a Christian and all of us as Christians, let me encourage these other Christians that they need to put on this full armor of God. Because our battles that we face, whether it's trials and tribulations, people, um, situations, just life, you know, things happen. And we want to be ready because our enemy, the devil He's trying to get us. He's trying to get all of us as the image of God. He can't get God. So guess what? He's going after us, the people of God, exactly. as an image. Yeah. And um, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. You know, a lot of us get caught up, I feel like, in the people that we deal with or the situations. And we think, like, I'm going to attack this person. I'm, I'm, I have attack to fight you. I have to fight you. I have to fight this. Stuff. But you're not fighting that. You, the best way you can fight is with God, praying. Setting a word and doing the right thing. And being better than what you were uh, the day before. Yeah, that's like the best way. And so in this video, um, we're going to discuss ways to put on the full armor of God, what it means and how to get through it and do it in your life. And Dr. Rich, I'm sorry, I just had to cut you off. Oh, you good. Uh, but I just, every time I, I think about the full armor of God, I think this song comes up to me and just, Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees yeah, and toes. Hey, you gotta cut that thing up. <laughs> guess what? That's true. You better cover it up because they're gonna be coming every which way. I like you know that. Because what, what I think about is we ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We ready. We ready. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to go to war. We yeah. Okay, three, <laughs> two, or one. Or three. Uh, it, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Which one? You know, we're going to war. So Andrew. we're going to start off with um, Ephesians chapter 6. We're just going to read through it for you guys. We're starting at verse number 10. So it says, Finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, mm -hmm. and with your feet um, fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can um, extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Yes, I love that. And then the last verse, number 18, it says, And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and, re and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Um, and then Paul was also saying, was also saying in the scripture, pray for me. So that right there is like such a big thing. So we're going to discuss the different um, pieces of armor to put on so that we can be ready on a daily basis to live victorious lives for God, no matter what the world may throw at, may us. Throw at us or what people may throw at us because Guards, it's coming. Heroes. 
everything. Anything. Yeah. And I and one thing I like I was I was listening to another sermon um um a couple of weeks ago and he was talking about Paul and how and I always love the Apostle Paul because I feel like he was of all the apostles he started out being persecuting the church. So he was already mm-hmm. kind of like on the wrong side, but he had such a passion for it and he believed in what he was doing and God switched him to the Christian side. So I always feel like Paul is just, and he wrote like so much of the New Testament and he, he ran for God. Like he was a believer. He was so passionate and he believed in what he was doing. Well, well, Dr. Rich, one thing I want to say about, about Paul is yeah, that exactly. I think that may have been the reason why his mindset was so open to the suffering that comes with what it is being a, a Christian yeah. and being a true disciple of God. Yeah. See, I think with, with him being on the other side and, and persecuting Christians, mm-hmm. he was a you know he was going so you know gun home with trying to get that done yeah. to the point where only thing he could see was rape. You know, yeah. you know everything was like, yeah. if you're a Christian, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. But then once you no know, God converted him to the other side, yeah, opened his eyes. And, and, yeah. It really, I think, showed him that, you know what, I think about all the wrong I was doing to to these people. Now, I can only expect for me to get it 15, 100 times worse. Yeah. So, when he, when he saw suffering, he was like, hey, I'm, I'm good. I, I know what it is. I know what it's going to come with. Yeah. So, with God on my side, because I was on the wrong side and I was successful. With God on my side, I'm going to be super successful. So, yeah. if it's going to come... Come on with it. Take yeah. your best shot, baby. Take your best shot. <laughs> I like so. that. And that's what I love because the, in the, the the preacher was saying that Paul looked forward to suffering. That's it. Like he didn't he didn't see as he he felt like Christianity and suffering went hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Whereas on our side, in my mind, in my thinking normally, and I think for a lot of us, we think like Christianity means like, oh, I'm gonna be all right, I'm good. But we don't like the suffering side of it, but it's a no. part of it. And I love what my dad always tells us. He's like, you know, maybe God allows certain things to happen in your life, is because yes. you do have God on your side and some people maybe if they don't have God on their side they can't handle it because they don't have God on their side to pray to study his word standing on the on that power it's power in God it's power when God is on our side like I was saying I'm unstoppable so you can we can we have we we can deal with the pressures the the tribulation the trials we don't like to but we have the power with us to deal with it because God is on our side. And, and Paul saw that. And so. I, I know, no, I was going to just say what you just said right there. When you have God on your side and you know you have God on your side and God knows that you're a part of his foe, yeah. you can, when he activates that power, when you activate that power for, mm-hmm. him, for him to come down and help you, yeah. everybody around you is, See is, seeing, is seeing your situation and they seeing how you're, how you're still smiling, how you're mm-hmm. still genuine, how you still just Kind. still focus on the true goal is is loving him and loving others through the midst of your trials. Yeah. You talking about you no know, moving mountains mountains and changing lives. Yeah. And that right there will allow others to say, no, like the Jezza, uh can, <laughs> what kind of guard you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can you introduce us? Yeah. I'm just trying to be down. Yeah. You know, and and like, I, I just want to say the moment. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I just want to say good. this. Some of us have that mindset like Job's wife. Curse him and die. Mm-mm. Don't be like that. No. You got to hang in there. Hold tight to his unchanging hand yeah. and let him work. Yeah, I love that, Rod. And, and I think also what you were saying about when you said that the jailer. So Rylan is talking about when Paul and Silas were in jail. They were both preaching the word of God. But back then, Christians were being persecuted. And they, yeah. they were put in jail. As you know, we talked about previously, Paul was a part of being a persecutor at first. And so... Him and Paul, Paul and Silas are in jail for preaching the word of God, teaching others. And then they, instead of being, they're in chains, you know, locked, locked up. up. Hold on, wait. What's that song? <laughs> locked up. Won't let, let me. Hey. Hey. Up. They were locked up. And so you see them, they, instead of feeling sorry for themselves or like, man, why am I in this situation? Why is this heaven? Why like, they do this to me? God, why they you, hate on me? God, why they don't, forsaken me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were up there like, Lord, let's praise God. Hey. Let's worship him. Like, that's, that's a lesson in itself. Hey. Like, Praising yeah. God in the middle of your trials and tribulations. No, but hold on. If, if we can be totally honest, think yeah. about this, guys. That's like crazy. Back in the day, you don't really even, we don't really even understand. It's not like the jails now. Yeah, like yeah. jails now, you go in there, you see Ray Ray now, they in there chilling. <laughs> no playing. No shooting. Stop shooting it. Shooting dice, playing cards. Talking about, hey, jailer, man, hey, what we doing tonight, baby? No, that's not how it was. No. Back then, in those type of prisons, they had boys locked up all like type James. of ways. I'm talking about like, Head down, shackled up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what you got to understand. And in the midst of all of that, they were praising God come and on. worshiping God. So you knew. And did they get beat too? Yeah. They got, got beat, beat too. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It's going to be. And sometimes it's hard for me when I even bite my lip. I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
be with me. You know, so damn, it's like this, this boy got whipped. Yeah, yeah. And got chained down. And they in there talking about. Oh, what, 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 what's, the, what's the song? Give me a song, Dr. Rick. Oh, don't do me like uh, that. I was fat. Ah, oh, my bad. Put insert your favorite hymn. Uh, that's it. Your favorite uh, music, gospel yeah. or, you know, acapella. Uh, hey, church song and go, back, go back to video I believe 19 and we went over the hymn <laughs> <laughs> we, did have, we do yeah, have a we, do have, we, a have, a hymn. we so, have a praise and worship yeah songs so, subscribe yeah. like yeah and try that yeah ahead. yeah but just <laughs> said the full armor of God so number one you have the helmet of salvation and so the helmet of salvation talks about guarding your mind the mind is so important because that's what Satan attacks first. Well, first. He wants you, your mind, all type of ways, confused. Cloudy. And, cl yeah. Cloudy. But we have to stand on the word of God, the truth of God. You have to make sure that you're filling your mind with positive things. Like, music, we, we play a lot. We like music. We like we, we like it. Movies. We, movies. You have to be careful what you Hold intake up. in your spirit. Netflix. Like hey, you, you have to be it. careful what you put in your mind mm. because that stuff influences you. Like Ramos, what you say earlier? You I, say I, earlier. I, I can tell you honest with you. It's an old saying somewhere underneath a Bible. I don't know. <laughs> it says, wherever the mind goes, the body will follow. Yeah. So if your head not on right, if you're not thinking straight, yeah. I'm telling you, you'll be somewhere where you'll be like, God help me. Yeah. Pull me out. Yeah. You call mama name. And so you want to make sure that you're filling it with the word of God. Like First. what we do a lot of we, we talk about the, the Bible app where you can study mm -hmm. devotions and they even have devotions that you can listen to, which I really love because I like to multitask. So mm -hmm. you don't have to like you can read some and you can listen to it also. And so that's a good thing to do. You want to make sure that we listen to different sermons on YouTube. Yes, yes, live, live, yes, listen to yes. sermons through our church app and different apps like that as well. Riding in our cars, we, we don't like we, we don't always listen to music. Music, riding yeah, in the car yeah. we, we may have a praise and worship where we listen to I know I listen to different sermons on the way to work and back from work and just encouraging things like motivational things too. yeah I was about to say there I, I listen worship, to a lot, yeah. lot, lot of songs uh, about God and things like that yeah. you know I have my, my praise time mm -hmm. I, have, I have my my, my focus learn time mm -hmm. and I have my time where I kind of just rock out. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But, but in the it's same, balance. it's a balance. It's a balance. It's not just all rock out. And if you feel like you're going through something where you feel spiritually weak, that is not the time to, to bump uh, R&B and nook rap. if you book. <laughs> no. Nook if you book. That's, that's not the time. Mm -hmm. you know, you're going through a trial. You're going through some, some changes. <laughs> you need to fill your mind with the word. I mean, even if it's a struggle some days, because some days it is. Yeah, it is. Some days it is. like, Lord. And, and, and let me say this. The devil will distract you. He will. Um, it's been so your time. man's gonna come on right before you about to click on that song. And you're like, oh, wait, hold on. Or, or your favorite artist to come out with five new songs <laughs> in the mix. Like Beyonce and Best Friend say, I'm dropping a hundred song album. And you got everybody bumping it. You know, you know what Beyonce is. Like, she oh, breaks the internet. So yeah, yeah, your yeah. internet messed up. You trying to listen to Beyonce. No, you didn't listen to Because I'm going to buy that thing. I'm going to be the first one, okay? Be my first B, one. B.I. stand up. Stop right, playing. like for real. But G.I. Like stand up too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, Please you know, do. That's the real Please word. Do. Yeah. I'm you. But you're right, right. It's also make sure that you, you you're guarding your mind, and also remember that with this helmet of salvation, that God has already paid the price for us, sending Jesus to die for us. God has already saved us. Yes. So worst case scenario, we good because hey. we've already been saved. Hey. You've already been you. You didn't have to fight that battle. God, yeah. God, the, like my mom always says, the battle's already won. Can we just activate? <laughs> You gotta press activate and let God work. Yeah, That's I like that. Activate. I mean, like, yes. If you can like listen, that. from here on out, after y'all watch this video, I always do is say, God, activate. Okay? Go. God, activate, activate. activate my face. Hey, activate it. Activate my life. No, you I didn't say activate her. No. But activate. Boy, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have, we have the helmet of salvation. Then we also have the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. So the breastplate is basically protects your heart and all your vital organs. You don't go into war. With none of Wait, this color. You don't want you want to guard your heart. Yes. Guard your vital organs organs. You want to make sure that um with righteousness, like we're not righteous on our own. Yeah. God God by sending Jesus to die for us, God played took away our unrighteousness and placed Christ's righteousness on us. Yes. So therefore, we want to make sure that we're living right. We're not living in sin. Like we're not perfect. None of us, I mean, we sin. Because we're human and no everyone, the Bible says what? Everyone has fallen short. Um, we've all seen. Yeah. And so basically we want to make sure that we're not actively going towards sin though. We want to make sure we we we're striving to live good lives, lives where we're not caught up in sinful situations. Yeah. Well, I, again again I think it goes back to, you know, your head first and then yeah. you know 
your heart. You know, that, that's, yeah. that's a big connection right there. Yeah. Because if your head goes somewhere, guess what? At some point, your, your, your love for something may grow too. See, yeah. If you go towards God, your love for God should grow. Mm -hmm. If you go towards foolishness, you know, then that may grow towards that too. Cause I know, I know it's some people out there that, you know, they like watching some of the various TV shows and, and things that reality, re shows. reality shows that really, at the end of the day, it is not true. They, they're not, they're, they're paying actors and if it is true, and actors, you don't want to live like that's that because it. that's not real life. But you cannot what? go in there telling people off, cursing people out. And throwing drinks at everybody's face. Like you will get arrested or something. Like you cannot do that stuff in real life. Like Stop it. that's not real. So don't, but if you feel in your mind with that stuff constantly, guess what you're going to do? Your heart going to tell you to do it. Yeah. And your head. And yeah. if you both say, guess what your body going to do? Yeah. Make somebody give me a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you end up yeah. you end up getting arrested or losing your your livelihood because of a foolish decision that you made because you were feeding your mind with all this stuff in the world. I mean, you can't blame anybody, but dang, maybe I should have uh, considered. Maybe I should turn the channel. Maybe, maybe but, yeah, yeah. But think about it. But the biggest thing that you will lose is your influence, and I believe what's yeah. coming up next would be. You know the the uh, the readiness uh, the sandals of readiness. Yeah, well, like the gospel of peace. Yeah. So that, you want to be your shoes. You you're ready. You're ready. You're ready to go. That right there is mm -hmm. a big key because you gotta understand this. The um the the sandals of readiness. The shoes of of to go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the official no, word. No, 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 but you go, your shoes. Yeah, your combat boots. Listen, your shoes. Your yeah, sandals. Yeah. Whatever. Your jersey boots. <laughs> <laughs> those. Those right there. Those right there are the things that, the, yeah. the path that you need to leave for others to follow. Yeah. And you, my thing is this, you know, we all have people that watch us. You mm -hmm. know, you probably, you might have a little nephew, you may have, have kids, you may, I mean, have, you may have co spouse, you don't spouse know. peers, and people watch you. So if they see you throw a drink in somebody's face, they may be like, man, you know what? I've been wanting to do that for a while. Except <laughs> for, instead of a drink, I'm going to throw my car. You know what I'm saying? We don't want that no, to happen. No, no, so no. So no. that's, that's the point that we're talking about right there. You yeah. have to always remember that. Let God work. Let yeah. God fix it. But walk in a way or live live in a way where God is shown and not, not your own feelings. Yeah. No, yeah. love is the key. You yeah. love him and then love others how you would want to be loved. And love yourself. And even even when they're unlovable, you, you must still, still do it. Now, I know it's difficult, but you know what I told you? God, activate. <laughs> Let it activate. Yeah. Activate. I like that. And then also still talking about the, the shoes. You want to be ready to go the right places. Yes. To, to make sure you're not oh, yeah. going in the wrong direction. Hey. Ready to teach others about the gospel yes. of Christ. You know, letting them know that, hey, it is hope out there. No matter what you're facing in this world, there's hope in God. There's mm -hmm. hope in Christ. And I feel like so many people in this world don't, they don't get that. So therefore, sometimes they can feel hopeless. They can fall into depression. They can fall into different things because they feel like, man, this is my circumstances, all I have. You know, there's no way for me to get out. Man, with God, all things are possible. Everything. You can get through anything. You can Literally. go through anything and be successful and victorious with God on your side. I'm gonna so go know this. I, I just want to say this. No, and this is trivial. <laughs> LeBron made it out of three one. He was down three one against Golden State. Ron, I'm not and he came <laughs> back. He, I'm just and I say that's real though. That's it's like that's real though. And the reason why I use that that right there is because anytime anybody that follows sports, they know that coming out of a three one you no know, deficit in a in a series in the NBA is like it's impossible. Yeah. And with them get coming out of it. Every day, every day in practice, I'm pretty sure somebody was like, man, we about to lose, man. I don't even know how we're going to get out of this one. Yeah. And somebody was in there saying, look, we got to have gonna faith. Make it. We got to have faith. Every play, every game that we still in it, we got to do it. Mm. We got to do it. We got to do it. And that's how we got to be on a daily basis. Mm. Even when things don't look right, man, we about to lose. Man, no, nah, man. Activate. God is on our side. Activate. I'm good. I'm like, God's activate. Gonna make it. it don't matter, like, who's coming against you. Don't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. Trust God. Because, I mean, trust me, we've been there. we still there sometimes. Listen, we still Like, in our lives, y'all don't even understand the stuff yeah. that we face. And it's like, you just be like, God, I don't know. Like, and you had those days where you just like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I may just have to just be in my room by myself for a little bit and get my mind right. But God is going to come through. Hey, you can't. You got to hold hey, on to you that. Gotta hold on you got to hold on to that. And listen, and I think that's the biggest key, Dr. Rich. You yeah. are right. I feel like, number one, what you have to understand is if God bought you this far, why would he leave you? That's true. He, like he, he won't leave you. But you had to continue to activate his power. Yeah. Because a lot of times we leave him. He doesn't leave us. Yeah. And a lot of times we get so caught in, you know, it might be follows on Instagram. It may be likes on Twitter. It may be reposts on Facebook. But it may be what? people coming at you at your job. It may be people coming at you at your job. It, it, it job. may be people in your family tripping. We don't know. It, it can we, be it, it it's can life. Be your car breaking down. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
the thing about it is if you allow God to continue to activate his love in your life by reading his word yeah. and praying to him and, and learning from him. And, and, and also, Ramos, I think they're going to say our other one, the shield of faith. Bye-bye. That, like, that's the perfect segue into that. Like, faith. Because it was, the, what the Bible say, a faith as small as a mustard seed can mustard move seed. a mountain. As small as a mustard seed. Can you seed. put that closer to the face? I, mean, it's, I don't know, but a mustard seed is so small, y'all. You know? Like, it's so little. So, God said, if you have that much faith, move you can move a mountain. What? So, if you mess around and have an orange size, <laughs> an orange size, you know what I mean? Doggone faith, and you you can be unstoppable. And I was thinking about that J. Cole quote, like one of his songs, like I am a J. Cole fan, so I do listen to his music while working out and stuff. Yeah, so and so I feel like one song he said that he was like, Man, if you have faith, are, are your prayers big enough? Like are you, you know, it's like it's I'm not quoting it right, but it's kinda like what he said, and it's like as a Christian, and when I hear that, I'm like, he's so right. Like, if you say you believe, like, why are you tripping? Like, your prayer should be out of this world, like anything is possible. Like truly, anything is possible, hey. and so that shield of faith is able to fight those fiery darts that the devil may throw at us, that the world may throw at us, and you're trusting God because what is what does Hebrews eleven one say? The 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 faith is the sum. Sorry, That's faith substance. It's the substance of things hoped for, ah. the evidence of things not seen. Hey. So faith is what the substance of things hoped for. So you're hoping for something. You you have hope. You believe in the evidence of things not seen. So you you may not see it. Mm. Right now, you may be going through a dark period where you don't see how it's going to happen, what's going to happen. You can't even find the lights in the room. Right? It's just dark. But, but guess what? Your mind, the light that you should see, number one, should be God. Yeah. If you see God, then you should say, you know what? I'm good. I have, if I have breath in my body, mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a go again. Every time I, I wake up, every time my heart pump, I'm going to give it a go. Yeah. Hey, listen, I think Drake said it. He said, if I ain't dead, I'm dedicated. Hey. Hey, listen. That's, that, that's real talk right there. Somebody put it on a t-shirt. We're going to put it on a t-shirt. Hey, I'm that, hey, for real. Hey, dedicated hey, to hey. God. Because that's it. I love that, Rob. Because at the end of the day, y'all, things are going to happen in life where you just don't understand what's going on. You don't know why. But you hold on to that faith. The devil can you. You have that shield of faith that's blocking Blocking mm. the, the different things mm. that, that the devil may throw at you through mm. people, mm. through situations. Yeah. Because once again, what? Our battle is not against the flesh and blood. It's against evil forces. Mm. And, 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 and it's something that we can't see, but it's the spiritual battle going on. So guess what? We have to, we have to fight in the heavenly realms. And the person that we fight with is God because we can't beat Satan on our own. No. There's no way. We, hey. He will beat us every single time. Because what the Bible said, well, he's a, he's walking around like roaming a like a lion, looking Roaring. to devour us. Going back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth. So you. And, I don't mean to cut no, you off. No, no, you did. I'm just you saying, did. the biggest thing is, this is his playground. Yeah. Like, this is this is his realm. This is what he do. Like, yeah, right yeah. here. All this, this for, is for thousands of years. You can't beat you somebody can't beat that there. Like, yeah. like, my dad always say, you cannot play somebody else's game. You can't play somebody else's no, hand. Listen. You have to be true to who you are. Hey, you, you listen. can't. Because if you try to play that game, guess what? They're going to win because it's their game. And they're going to cheat if you start winning. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Because if you play in they're going to start playing chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, they will cheat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's how the devil is. Because when you think you know something, he throws a slider, a side. Father of lies. Yes. He He's is. an accuser. Like, um, I read in the Bible um, a couple of weeks ago, and he was talking about how he was trying to accuse, was it, was it Joshua? Or... I gotta, y'all. I'll put the scripture in there. When he, the devil is always trying to up there accusing us. Like, he's over there. Like, you know how somebody be snitching? Like, he's over there when God's trying to accuse us, y'all. Like, this man is... Spread lies. Man, man. He, this, this being is Spread our enemy. Lies, like, father of lies, accuser. So, you cannot fight him on your own. I'm be, we have to fight with God. I'm we have to fight with faith, with prayer. Stay in the word. Then yeah. we're back to the sword. The sword. What is the sword? The sword is the word of God. So, mm. how did Jesus fight the devil? When Jesus was on this earth, he fought the devil with what? The word of God. The, yeah. sword, the, the sword is the word of God. So, that's how you fight. So, you have this in your mind. We talked about it. The helmet of salvation, the salvation, guarding your mind. Your main thing is get, filling your mind with the word of God. That is the most important thing. And we, when we say y'all, we're talking to ourselves as well. We like you, you, I mean, you got to live in that word. I'm talking about you have to like. Listen, you need a pillow and a cover in that word. Before you, you know go to sleep, man, you don't be on Instagram. Don't be on yeah. Twitter. Don't be on social media, man. Get the Bible app. Don't be, don't be listen, doing this. Listen to a scripture. Listen yes. to a chapter before you yes. close your eyes yes. and before you go to sleep. Like you need to fill your mind when you wake up. Don't check your Instagram. Don't check anything. Check the fill Bible. Yes, you have to with, fill your mind with the with word. God, I'm telling you, with me, the truth. Because that that'll change your outlook. It'll change your mindset. Yeah, and you realize a lot it of things. A lot of things that that people put 
in high regards, it's really low on the totem pole. Yeah. But people put it up there because guess what? They have the world. Yeah. And that's what they want. Other world tell you, look, you we want you want a hundred thousand likes. <laughs> and you do, gotta do whatever you gotta do to get them. If it's if it's selling yourself, if it's selling your family, that's not the key. No. Love is the key. Yeah. God, God is, is the key. God is the key. That, that, that's the yeah. major key. Yeah, major, major key. key. But I wanna just go back to just going back about the devil and how the devil works. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me right. say something. I'm sorry. Look how the devil did Job. Yeah, we gonna we gonna do listen, a second. I, I know, but I'm just saying. Gospel, we I, do a and if you don't know, listen. Yeah, he went up there. So God, listen. Let me holler at you real quick, God. <laughs> Your servant Joe. I think I can. I think I can make him curse you. I think he can. I think I can make him mad at him mad at you enough when he'll curse you. Yeah. And he That's said, why you protecting him too? Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. You blessed him too much. God said, you know what? I have faith in him. Cause understand this. God. Well, I say Joe was blameless. God, can, God knows the number of, of hairs in our head. Yeah. And guess what? He knows who's for him and who's not. Mm -hmm. But you got to put in your mind mm -hmm. that God has to be number one in your life. Yeah. He has to be number one. Mm -hmm. Your wife can't be number one. Your, your, your girlfriend, your you boyfriend. You can't be number one. You can't be number one. You know you what? Not number one. Said something right like, there. Like, because so many times I find in my own life, I wanted things to go my way. Yeah. And I'm like, hold on, Richland. They cannot go your way. This is not, this is God's life, okay? Listen. This is God's life. Yes. We all are yes. God's yes. life, okay? This is what He created us. He is the creator. Well, we, we need to do we what tenets. He says. We tenants. Yeah, 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 yeah. We so yeah. Right. So basically, but I like that. We're, Lord willing, well, in the future we're gonna we're gonna try to do a study on Job. So yes. so we'll go we'll come back to that. But yes. I like what Rob was saying about the devil. No, I, I'm just saying that just how the devil after after he um, he talked to God and God allowed the devil to kind of do a few things, took away his children, took away his his a few. Um, Heartbreaking. Then after after he took away all that is is money and his children. Mm -hmm. Then he said, "Well, that that ain't breaking." Cause Job was like, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? Well, God, God, what? What do you say, God? Um, Don't he slay me? Yet will I trust in him?" No, I was gonna say, "No, God, oh, take it. God, God take it. it. God give it, 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 God take it away." Yeah, yeah. And and then yeah. after he did that, the devil went back up there and said, "Well, God, let me let's attack his let, body. Let, let me attack his, his physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me, let me touch him. Let me touch him. Now I won't kill him, but let me just get a little something." And that's when, like I said at the beginning of the video, where um, his wife said, you know, won't you just curse God and die? Mm -hmm. And, you know, most people would be like, girl, woman? But he said, foolish woman, I will not. Will I not accept the, we, we accept the good from God, but not the bad. That's it. So, so, so but, but, I love Joe's mindset. That's, what, that's it. He that's was it. suffering, y'all. That is like the suffering, like, he, he, like, Paul, it goes hand in hand. They saw it, like, look, how can the God has been so good to me regardless of what happens in my life? God has been good to me. Like, no matter what else happens, God don't owe me nothing. Like, when, when once Jesus came and died for us, God, even then, God didn't owe me nothing, but he really no, don't owe me nothing. Don't think. You know, so, so, but I feel like so many of us get caught up in so many things that don't go our way, mm -hmm. and myself included, because mm -hmm. I've had, I have mm -hmm. moments where mm -hmm. I'm definitely just like, man, why, you know, what did this happen, you know, mm -hmm. but, but then I have to check myself, mm -hmm. go back to the word, talk to some wise, wise counsels hey, hey, <laughs> in my it, family it, and good friends, and, and they give me back focus. No, God gives me back focus. Uh, like, this ain't about you. Like, this, That's this it. is, this is not, this is about me. In my purpose in your life. So, but, yeah, yeah. But the biggest thing I want you to understand is that, that the devil is the father of lies, like Dr. Rich said. He's yeah. the father of, uh, of, uh, uh, of confusion. And hopefully this leads us to the next thing is putting on the belt of truth. Amen. I love it. And so, the belt of truth. And that's the main thing. Number one, the truth is God's word. Standing on God's word. What you mm. said, I'm the truth. The, the truth, the light, the way, the truth, the light. I'm not, I may not be quoting it right, but I'll put the scripture down there. And um, basically, knowing that God's word is the truth. It is. Standing on God's word. Not believing. When, when we when we set God's word as our foundation, we meditated on it day and night. It's hard for us to be confused. Because mm -hmm. it's so funny how when you spend so much time with God, he leads you. Like, yeah. softly leads yeah. you through the day. He leads you through through your life. Oh, well, maybe I should go right instead of going left. Maybe mm -hmm. I should go this way. You know, it's like... Maybe it's, I should go up instead of go down. <laughs> maybe I should take the stairs, not the elevator. You know, it's like God leads you. Like, quietly, his yeah. his small voice, is, it, it yeah. leads you. And when you're studying his word, meditating on it, yeah, living in that truth, you you will be able to withstand so many different things and, and also being true in your life like yeah. making sure that you're telling the truth you, you you don't have to you know one of my friends always say um and i know it's probably an old quote too but if you tell the truth you don't have to remember stuff because you, hey, you know you know you're lying and like yeah i remember that like, like uh hold on <laughs> now uh the third, the third of wednesday i <laughs> came that way 
I, yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. But if you're telling the truth and you're living in truth, you have nothing to hide. You no. can stand on the word. You can stand before people with a yeah. straight face and like, look, this it is what it is. This is the truth. You know what? You know, like, Doctor Rich. You know, I think about the truth <laughs> aspect of it. I think about. Um, I think um, I preach sure here and said it before. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't know God was coming to your house, and he just he just walked smooth in. Mm. And you know, what would you do? Would like, you hide like, stuff? like, yeah, would you run it around? Would you, would you, number one, would you hide? Would you be ducking? <laughs> go, God, you here. I didn't even know. Or would you have to move some stuff? Would you have to you know, work, look at your history on your computer? Uh, would you have to look at your history your, on your phone? Your history on your phone? Yeah. Would you have to uh, say, God, hope, get, you know, you know, I guess, but oh, I wasn't expecting you. Give me mm -hmm. a second. Everybody get out. You know, that's the truth that I'm that's talking about. That's the truth, yeah. Like, are you living in truth? Good enough. Like, if, if if God showed up right now to to your home, if God showed up right now as you're driving, now I know I'll be looking. God, you should not something. Tell me it's going to be there. You should have whispered how you told me to go left. You should have told me I'm coming. Please. <laughs> so, so, oh my gosh. So, <laughs> but that's true, yeah, yeah. You got to walk, drive and walk in truth. Yeah. <laughs> Drive and walk. And number one, okay. yeah, so like what I'm also saying, you have to drive and walk in truth. And number one, share the truth with others. Please then we please. talked about the readiness, the readiness to share the gospel with others. Tell others about Christ. When they say, man, how did you live through this? How did you get through this situation? How did you deal with this person? What gave you that strength and that power? You point them back to God. You point them back to Jesus. You you tell, you tell share with them, like, man, let me tell you about somebody I met. Mm. He ain't like no other. No other. He's my best friend. Listen. He's there for me when nobody else is there for me. Mm -hmm. He listens to me without judgment. Mm -hmm. He loves me with all of his heart. All of it. You lead them back to God. Yeah. And that's the key. That's the key. And that's share good. the truth with them. So we hope this was a good video for y'all. We had fun filming it and studying it. It definitely helped me in my yeah, life. You know, I feel too. more empowered to ready to face hey. you know these the next week, the next day, and just you know get through it strongly, having that faith like. Whatever's coming at me, guess what? I got to show the face. Activate. Bam, bam, bam. That's what I'm saying. I like Activate. That. Activate. I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, 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 how you doing? More, mighty more. Mighty more. <laughs> Power I do it. I don't know what they were saying. I don't know what they were saying. Jenny Mac said, mighty more. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. share our videos definitely leave a comment um let us know what you think about the armor of god and things that you want to share with us about it and we'll see you next time love you guys Bye. thumbs up <laughs> Thank you,